Hello, greetings. Yeah, so this is uh, again about this message, uh, like from Mickey Malik, United States. He gave me a number. I shared it on social media, and uh, so the call I received from Super Bowl, a bowling game on Facebook. I just started to. Um, I started this game, started to, uh, you know, uh, participate in on Facebook. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about my condition right now. I feel very like uh, sick and uh, heaviness and some like, uh, you know, uh, some stinging feeling all over. And feel really strange, uh, like I'm under hypnosis, controlled. And uh, since I've taken this action, but I feel like a breathing problem, and uh, like you know, distance mind control uh, thing, attack symptoms, distance mind control symptoms. Uh, uh, so it was very difficult thanks to social media I cannot thank them enough and I also feel scared like I see some favorite author of mine on YouTube my subscriptions are open uh, for the public to see who I've subscribed to on YouTube right so right now I'm shaken up and uh, I don't want to uh, look at the videos, even if the authors, like I have to check, but I can't check like uh, who is behind this channel, who has, let's suppose uh, Khalil Gibran is, uh, you know, giving about Khalil Gibran, although he's not alive, uh, but I can't take the other authors that I like, uh, so I'm feeling shaken up like they're going to hurt them. This started from Karachi uh, with this feeling of being watched, you know, and also that we will uh, kill or harm telepathically coming to me, messages, uh, and voices started also, so uh, telepathically saying uh, in the beginning that they will harm and kill all those that I, uh, you know, that are helping me or I like or something like that. Yes, yeah, so I'm unable. I like out of breath, rebuked. Uh, uh, so, you know, Yusuf said he had taken this dua, dua sabha sub supplication. In it was that the last imam, last our last imam supplication, out of breath, rebuked, involved in corporal uh, things. Uh, you call it uh, so I'm even very forgetful can't remember the supplication words uh, properly so it's a struggle uh, with I feel like with uh, my energy is being hemorrhaged too much more so now and uh, some uh, like uh, I'm scared to join the holy uh, Indian Hindu holy celebration. Um, I'm scared to like any videos right now, but okay, I I do later on forget about it. Uh, but uh, you know, quite irresponsible. But I can't help it, right? Uh, so this kind of a feeling and feeling, since I've uploaded a very strong feeling pressure on my body like uh, yeah I want to make another tea oh. a few um, drops of tea left uh, so I'm kind of shaken uh, it's hurting me again uh, more so than before uh, like in Karachi, uh, the pressure starts. 
even more so, right? And uh, so I have a feeling these people are connected uh, to a terror group. And uh, funny, I realized today, yesterday what happened is uh, that I ignored the message. I blocked him in the messenger, not on Facebook. I completely bl uh, block his... Uh, See, I'm even stuttering, kind of. Completely block his uh, profile. So I just uh, blocked his uh, the me message box. And uh, so today I realized, uh, look again, is something very strange, that he would blame Iran for it. And you know, the Pakistanis and Kashmiris have got Iranians involved in their Kashmir issue against Indian Hindus. So it was very strange that an American who I said that you, uh, to whom I said this James Milet or Millet, but with the one L, not two L's, I don't know how you pronounce his last name, whether it's Milet or Millet. It's very strange that he would send me a message after I've told him that you Kashmiri Muslims are worse, Pakistani Punjabis, are worse than the United States of America that you claim has been doing terrorist activities. And uh, so that he would uh, write to me against Iran only. Uh, why would he write to me against Iran only? So uh, this to be noted, right? Yesterday I finished my thing. I said like I would become like this, like even more incapacitated, unable to make food for myself. So today I've cooked, not only prepared my food, but cooked. And so I had the time to think of this. Uh, that uh, I didn't reply to his message, a recent one yesterday, but I finished my thing on um, Islam. Very strange that uh, the, uh, the second last video yesterday or something like that, right? Uh, I finished and then I got this message and then the last one I felt, well, I'm coming closer to exposing Prophet Muhammad, very, very close. And uh, so his message came. So I said, let me not uh, forget it. You know, it's no use. Uh, Mickey Mal Malik just a month ago or, so, or something like that. And now him. Uh, but uh, today I felt that I had to pay attention to what he was saying against Iran and not against Pakistan. Actually, Pakistanis are the ones I feel now, and I even told him uh, a year back, September 2021, this James Milet, that you look like a Pash Kashmiri, Punjabi, and uh, maybe he has some connections with David Headley type, you know, terrorist group. So I had to give all the names, those people involved in this chat box on Facebook. I had to show you in my previous video. Uh, so I have a global crime preven prevention group and I've uploaded my last video also on Facebook. Um, I uploaded it on my profile and I have this global uh, crime prevention organization aspiration uh, group on Facebook, uh, you can, let me show you this one. Sorry about the flash, trying to focus it. This is my group on Facebook. Well, I made this group, I think uh, I had to change, keep changing the names, but you know, anti-terrorism or Global um, Crime Prevention. I have many such groups of anti-terrorism, God help us in Pakistan, and uh, things like that, right? Uh, so 
I mean, the group name Global Crime Prevention is too much. I hope uh, this covers uh, the terrorism also around the world. And so I've mentioned about Dr. Farrell Ziamad showing, uh, having a magazine at her institute uh, clinical of clinical psychology many years back when they had taken me out of Karachi American School. And uh, I had left myself and then they wouldn't uh, take me in. And uh, so this uh, Dr. Farrell Ziamad was a Kashmiri Punjabi, I don't know if she's still alive or not, she was an old woman at that time too. So um, maybe she's in her 80 plus years or something, or 90. Um, Kashmiri Punjabi, huh? Note, noteworthy. Um, I think there was a planning from a long time ago. This, I'm just sharing my thoughts, uh, like the Pakistani ISI, uh, army and people try to blame uh, America and uh, the Jews for lobbying and uh, killing Muslims. That's what they told us in Karachi. I, in Pakistan, I was in Karachi, so that's why, sorry, Karachi comes up uh, mostly. Uh, so the Pakistani thing was that, um, you know, the Jews are after us in Palestine and, and the Jewish American lobbying going on and so they're going to kill Muslims around the world and they will have this in the Middle East, they're coming to the Middle East and it's the uh, Jews doing this, American Jews especially and Israeli Jews, Mossad, uh, Zionists, right? Uh, so. Maybe it's not the Jews. Even 9-11, they were told us that, no, 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 Arab can do this. Uh, maybe it's a long planning of these Kashmiri Punjabi. You know, the heart. And I, when I checked, uh, so I have to put this point and I have to add. You know, when I checked, who is the uh, best, uh, like Mossad, what do you call this, intelligence? service, right, uh, the number one, number one in the world, I checked, it was uh, ISI, surprisingly, Pakistani central, uh, right now they're saying number one is USA, but uh, that uh, it's, uh, it's uh, 2022, but surprisingly, Pakistan, ISI, ranked number one spy agency in the world by American Crime News. Okay, this is American Crime News and uh, PK. What's this? Uh, trying to uh, do another website. Edu... Ed, ad, well, I don't know what, E D U D W A R. So, you know, the conspiracies, uh, I don't know which, uh, so now they're saying it's uh, American CIA number one, best intelligence agencies. Uh, but in crime, uh, oh, so maybe the world's most powerful intelligence agencies. Number one is CIA now, or this is 12 June 2021. And Pakistan's ISI ranked number one spy agency in the world. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, God knows, I'll have to read, it's a very long, then, it says here, so I'm kind of phased out. Okay, it starts from 10, oh, 9, 8, 7, uh, so it goes down to 1, and that's the ISI, Pakistan. 
uh, so it's ranked as the number one spy agency in the world by American Crime News. The ISI came to being okay in 1948. So uh, this is from the Kar Karachiite.com website. Kar Karachiite.com website. Okay, and uh, so, oh yeah, so, very, very scared to even like uh, socialize in the sense that, you know, don't know who to trust on social media too. And uh, even to play a game, like a bowling game, a super bowling game on Facebook, I started. Just when I started, they started to call me, video call, and it doesn't work here in my, where I am, in the Emirates, uh, right? They started to call me and they started to send me a chat, Parveen, and all this, so, don't know who, you know, like uh, I, suspect Pakistanis starting this. So like I said in Karachi, uh, they started to blame the Jews, the Mossads, uh, the Zionists, and Americans, number one terrorists, that they had bought the army, America, and that they were the poor ones who were, you know, caught in this terrorism by the American and uh, American government and all this army. And now since Ukraine, uh, Mickey Malik told me that there would be a war, America is going to attack. Uh, no, yeah, America. So they know all these things and, you know, the, uh, Russia is going to attack. Is uh, and America is involved. I don't know what he was saying. Anyways, so all this I feel is a mastermind behind it. And so even though David Headley is an American, I feel that the, the behind it. So very very clever. You see, David Amer David Headley. We'd say, ah, oh, Washington, United States, born in this. But his father turns out to be a Pakistani, right? And we would blame the Americans for it. So very good way of like putting a Jew's name and then making it seem like, you know, even if we were told in, for the 9-11 long time ago that um, the Jews were kept out, they, they didn't appear for the 9-11. On that day, they didn't go to work to the Twin Towers and this and that. Uh, so I still believe it's uh, Pakistanis are behind the terror. And they've even involved uh, Saudi Arabia and all this. Uh, some of them are from Emirates, two of them or three of them. So it's actually Pakistan behind all this. And Pakistan needs to be stopped. Pakistan killing their own Shias and then making a big, you know, thing about India I mean Lutlia, Kashmir me, India, Indians have looted us, raped us, Indian soldiers have done this, Hindu, India, and all that. <laughs> so can't even talk so No, but it's really not a laughing. But I really need to lighten up. Uh, so, private, if I could in any way, uh, you know, so I have to do these things uh, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, uh, most of the time I cannot help now abusing, because, you know, my height had come in Pakistan. Uh, the craziness, the madness, uh, all that I had taught myself, that Mr. Sa and my religion also, I felt the Shia Islam went to it, not to abuse, not even, and to talk properly with manners, and 
all that went away and uh, like it's so difficult to build your character and uh, your you know to discipline yourself it's been harder for me because someone else told me in uh, uh, London some witches after us so you take us one step forward and three steps back so everything good has been a struggle for me chasing after goodness but if with the, my last ounce of energy if I can help so anyways the bad words please overlook and those who understand I'm yes uh, I'm so grateful uh, yes I know that uh, you would not even want to thank you from me because you are great human beings so I really appreciate it and uh, anyway like we were told that uh, that if you suspect anything because uh, this is the time of terror around the world so if you suspect you know a bag unattended at the airport uh, complain um, so don't leave uh, do complain like don't just neglect it don't just leave it so this and uh, the cybernet cyber crimes you know terrorists I was told that all this when it started, you know, in Egypt, you uh, for uh, at the all this started from internet, but before that, in nine eleven, I don't think started from the internet, but now they have mobiles, they have WhatsApp, uh, so much and so quickly. Before that, I don't know how they did the Mumbai attack attacks and all in Pakistan attacking our Imam Bargas, our religious processions, Shias, killing like anything. Okay, on a killing spree, you know, just for like something motorbike, even before that. Yes, no, and at the same time, yeah, because, uh, you know, our one Mephilisha Khurasan in Karachi never used to be closed, but in the afternoons they started to close it and lock it up uh, so and then at the same time we had uh, they in Karachi we had uh, these motorbikes uh, who would go on killing sprees shooting sprees you know somehow then came the mobiles and it got worse in Karachi uh, killing spree so uh, where I was, I mean, I can't uh, be, and uh, what else? Yeah, so whole Pakistan like this, you know. Lahore keeping quiet, Islamabad keeping quiet about this. No one doing anything, no one bothers. Uh, so they're uh, toying with lives and killing them like we're toys. For mobiles, Pakistanis. So uh, no law and order. And terrorism on top now, to no length. Uh, they've reached the Europe, London, you name it. So, I would say, I have this feeling now uh, that these Pakistanis are the ones who started, um, uh, you know, kind of putting it on Americans, Indian, raw, raw agents, Zionists, Jewish lobbying in America <coughs> and uh, so we would think yeah they are the high-tech ones and this is Pakistan what underdeveloped country with lawlessness nothing but actually if you so I found this David Headley case right and we would think, yeah, oh, American CIA has written American funding going on. Mumbai plot, Denmark plot, Denmark plot, a plot, Mumbai plot, involvement in terrorism. 
early life, uh, son of Sayyid Jilani, Sayyid Jilani, Pakistani, huh? Pakistani diplomat. Oh, I've read about this in my earlier video. So please, I need to, I need safety uh, for these people also who I follow, subscribe to on YouTube channels. Because, you know, Denmark, yeah, they could, uh, uh, they could go to, like, uh, for instance, if I admire a European country and say it here, like, I say my friend from, um, oh, come on, a European country, right? I, I was really scared. I was scared uh, for Moji Baba and, you know, all these Sanghas uh, going on that I joined and then uh, I share. I share the good things I like. This means uh, for, if I go with my fear, which I should, 24 hours uh, until I sleep. And even in my sleep, I have attacks and bad dreams. Uh, horrifying dreams or dirty dreams, someone, you know, coming after me and things like that. Very, I don't know what they've done to my mind. But uh, even, like, I feel that, uh, what can I do? You know, on one hand, I want to spread good, I want to share the good, and, uh, or if I, or if this one from Russia, or if that one from Europe, or if this one from China, American, Chinese. So I'm always scared, all right, uh, or not all, I do forget, but this fear that I have, and it's uh, it's not uh, it doesn't it has a ground it has a basis for it uh, Gulf Air crash uh, Air Blue crash you know my friend from British Airways so I was scared I was scared for um, this Christian community parish parish in uh, Karachi I was scared for them. I was scared about that church oh, when in year 2000, uh, in retrospect, thinking, oh God, Gulf Air crash, 1983, Bosnian war, although it may seem no Pakistani was involved in it, right, that they got the Muslims killed in Bosnia, oh my God, that's so. You know, this is, uh, so, you know, I may be saying bad words here and you would suspect me to, but thank God for the social media, so I'll be, uh, so you can keep a track on what is going on with me and see whether I'm bad or whether these people, Pakistanis, Jews, I have to say that, uh, Jemima Goldsmith, uh, we had a Jewish neighborhood, they were not at all working like the Pakistanis work, and, you know, they, uh, like, so, mostly, so, Dr. Farooqzi, I'm a Punjabi Kashmiri, ah, keeping a magazine, they can even, uh, you know, some of their people are in America, and she herself went long time ago to America, Stanford University, right? So uh, there was this article against the Jews, celebrities, and all American Jews celebrating and this against Muslims. Okay, so. That's how all this is coming back to me. And in retrospect, uh, they've even made America evil, right? Notorious. And uh, making us think India, Israel, and uh, the American Jews, not Christians, and the American government. And then 9-11, again came the Jews thing, putting it on the Jews. 
So very clever, cunning. Oh, high, highly masterminded. Uh, so that we would think it's India, Israel, and uh, America. But what does it have to do with that Denmark that David Headley had to, you know, plot an attack in Denmark? God knows really what these Pakistani original origin people are up to. Well, God knows, but I have to take action and I hope someone will investigate, take time. Even these, uh, please don't, I know, I hope you know after Mickey Malik's thing uh, that uh, these uh, could be disguised Pakistanis and um, from ISI Pakistan, terrorists spread around the world. <gasps> So, I, what in in Pakistan when I, they came, I had to att us keep them, and you know try to see what they are up to. Now, uh, sometimes they come to me, and so they will be coming to me the all around the world now, Denmark and this place. So, um, okay, let's see what else. I came here to also tell you that uh, that's why private detective and anti-terrorist worker, um, anti-terrorist, anything I suspect, uh, I will report here. So. Okay, uh, can't talk much. I get stopped or some kind of an obstacle. Uh, and uh, yeah, a, a, a kind of a thing. It's harassing. Like, you know, that uh, schizophrenia and then the mind uh, plays the, this James Milet My or Millet's in a vision, you know. A teaser, a teasing, ten, you know, on my face, a, a vision coming, and all this is uh, then goes on. It takes time. It's very depressing. Uh, so I can't take it really. I don't know how I've survived until now. Okay, thank you very much. I'll continue later.